Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Show, and today we're doing a reading for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this for the collective. All right. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So somebody's sad about something in their feelings, in their emotions. What's going on for the collective? Oh, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright. Somebody beautiful, charismatic, maybe doesn't have a lot of love for this person. So there's a Queen of Cups that maybe doesn't have a lot of love for the Queen of Wands. What's going on here? Hmm. Could be a dark secret or... Um, I want to say some type of taking on too much, overburdened with something here. Ooh. Oh, yikes. This is the devil in reverse. So wanting freedom from somebody, maybe wanting to cut ties with this person. Hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles. There could be greed involved here. There could be um, maybe a misuse of money or kind of feeling like just the way they spend money. Maybe they're just using this person for their money. They don't even really like them very much. We have the, oh, my eyes are so terrible, the Prince of Cups, so this is the Page of Cups, um, the offers in reverse, so this could be emotional, um, unavailable here. Or vulnerable I feel like they're more vulnerable I feel like it's the knight that is the one that's unavailable emotionally unavailable the page is emotionally vulnerable so feeling very vulnerable when it comes to love here or feeling that there's no love between these two energies it could be a man and a woman just remember they can be a feminine or a masculine in their masculine or feminine side, right? We all have the masculine and the feminine within each of us, right? So with the two of wands in reverse, this is somebody being held back maybe because they're not walking away from something here that has no love between them. Somebody that feels overburdened wants freedom something to do with greed and being held back because of um, kind of hmm let's go on my card here Two of Swords in Reverse. Somebody may have made a um, judgment call or there's a truth be revealed here when it comes to a King of Swords. <laughs> okay, so this has to do with the man. <laughs> so there's two women. One's emotional about one. There's no love towards the one of them it's either the queen of cups in reverse who's emotional upset about a queen of wands there's no love between them there's overburdened here somebody here um with the devil in reverse this is somebody usually that's ambitious but it's in reverse and i'm kind of feeling like somebody wanting to break away release from whoever this is there has to do with greed. Maybe they had some money and this person's overspending their money. 
And the Page of Cups. Is it the Cups? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Page of Cups is um, no offer here. Not wanting somebody to have an offer. Maybe from this masculine, this King of Swords. Somebody's going to be delayed um, until they make a decision here. The Two of Swords in reverse, that's a truth revealed. Some type of anxiety around something here. Kind of like um, they're worried somebody's going to make a choice and it's not going to be them. Somebody's holding somebody back. Yeah, from walking away. I can't make this shit up with the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay. Oh, a woman holding a coin in reverse. Yeah, somebody is terrible with their money, it looks like. The world in reverse. They don't want something to end here. They don't want this masculine to cut ties. Financial constraints and yin and yang. I feel is uh, in reverse here. They're not doing the shadow. They're not balanced. All right. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Blossoming abundance. So somebody is emotional about somebody having a blossoming abundance. And I feel like it might be this Queen of Wands that's having this abundance. She's in the upright. And this Queen of Cups in reverse here, it may be codependent about somebody maybe this king of swords or this king of swords is codependent on her abundance something is going on here somebody wants to release something here queen of queen of wands what's going on with the queen of wands deceit in reverse she may not see this deceit she may not realize there's deceit here. They may be trying to hide this, that there's no love towards this person. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Journey. Yeah, they don't want her to move forward and Journey is in the reverse. They want to keep her stuck from something, overburdening her. With what? Ah, throat chakra, unable to speak some truth here. I kind of feel like they're trying to make her they don't want her to speak some type of truth here. What's this romantic illusion or this cheating here? Somebody's cheating. I can I kind of feel like it's cheating. Rest and rejuvenation. So, yeah, somebody wants freedom, and they need to take time alone. This person is meditating and connecting with spirit. What's the Four of Pentacles, this terrible spending? Oh, I lost my man. There we go. So, this is somebody that's not good with money. This is somebody that may be greedy. And anxiety is in reverse. They're going within about something here. Maybe letting someone go, not hanging on to them anymore. What's this page of cups here in reverse? Yeah, the yin and the yang came back out in reverse. Somebody's not balanced. Their yin and yang is off. Their, their dark and their light side are not balanced. Somebody is too dark here. What's this two of wands in reverse? The thinking woman. She's not thinking clearly. She's in reverse here. What's this two of swords? Yeah, a woman holding the coin in reverse. So she's losing a lot of money because of this masculine. He could have been just staying with her because of the financial situation. Yeah hostilities is here in the reverse when it comes to this king of swords he's walking away on the bottom of the deck here oh storm warning and he's getting out of there before it actually comes to um, be activated because it's in reverse 
So he's averting a storm here. Somebody is. It could be this Queen of Wands who has no idea about this deceit. She may she may know already, but she's not concerning herself uh, with this. I feel like she's <laughs> she's just doing whatever she's doing. These are other people in the background that she may not even be aware of. This is even going on. She's just having her abundance come in. Yeah, pleasure. Somebody could just be in it for the sex. Inner peace. And somebody is not getting that. Uh, it looks like it could be the Queen of Cups here in reverse that's going to get this blossoming abundance who's emotional right now. Maybe she's healing. Um, there's pleasure coming in for her. There's like a, an opening here, a gateway into something beautiful place here. And this inner peace is on this Queen of Wands with the deceit in reverse. This may be anxiety within herself, and that may be um, disrupting her peace. What's the journey in reverse? This is karma, I feel like, coming out here. Yeah, somebody doesn't have the courage right now um, to keep up this. They're not, they're not, they're unable to do this. They're kind of like a coward. It could be this king of swords showing up in his feminine side or this is his third party there could have been three people there's three people here somebody doesn't have any love for someone i i feel like this this queen of wands and uh this king of swords that don't really have much love towards each other and i feel like this queen of wands has no love towards this queen of cups i feel like there's jealousy here yeah, somebody's a coward when it comes to moving forward on her journey because there's no love here. They don't, I feel like that's why they're walking away. This king of swords is walking away. What's the spoken truth here? What is this? Somebody's being illuminated with illumination here. And yeah, overburdening um, and having to speak some truth here. There's something being illuminated here. And then we have solitude, rest and rejuvenation. I can't make it up. And freedom, wanting that freedom from one of these women. I feel like it's the one that's inner peace is in reverse. Like she's just not going to let him rest when it comes to something. Yeah, there's no more anxiety um, by doing, going within, having something illuminated here about somebody's greed. I feel like somebody is doing the work. Wow, collective. Things are starting to progress. Stillness, yeah. By doing the solid suit, doing the work, somebody is being still. The anxiety is going away. And so is, it's, it's not about greed. And that's what it's, I'm feeling like it's, they're realizing this illumination, it's, it's about love. That's the highest frequency there is. I, I kind of feel like this. they know this one of these people is not their yin to this masculine's yang, right? They're not, it's not their person. Whoa. <laughs> taking risks. Yeah, I feel like it's um, more taking a risk on someone new on someone else yeah protection the thinking woman in reverse and the two of wands whoever's being held back whoever's not thinking this woman who's not thinking clearly here or may not even know about this this could be this queen of cups here she may not even realize that somebody's being held back Whoever's being held back is protecting her. I feel like it could be this masculine. What's the woman holding a coin in reverse? Wonders. 
And this is in reverse, so she's not even thinking about these people. But somebody's already made a decision about this woman with the coin that's losing money here. I feel like that's their karma. Yeah, I, I feel like somebody doesn't even know about this. It's not even wondering about this because it's in reverse. This hostility is in reverse because I feel like this could be this other person, this Queen of Cups who's not even aware of what's going on here. This is all going on in the background. Yeah, there's this king of swords here, and he doesn't, he's tired of being a hostile towards something, or he doesn't want this queen of cups to be hostile towards him. He sees it as an adventure here. And fulfillment is in reverse, with the storm wa warning in reverse. So I feel like he's, he doesn't feel fulfilled. He sees this as an adventure to be with someone else here. Relaxation, yeah, he's he's not in any more storms by walking away from whoever he was meant to walk away from. I feel like this could even be a Capricorn, um, Virgo, or a Taurus, an Earth sign. So there's a lot of green here. Fire and Earth. And air. Fire, earth, and air. A little bit of water. Let's do some romance angels and see what comes up for love. Pleasure. Oops. Getting to know each other in reverse. So, and that's landing on that Queen of Cups in reverse. So, I feel like she's over something. <laughs> she doesn't care to know somebody here. What's this inner peace in reverse? For this Queen of Wands. Yeah, reconciliation is in reverse. So I feel like this King of Swords is not going to return to this Queen of Wands who has no love for this Queen of Cups. Um, this Queen of Cups has no idea what's going on with between these two. What's the lack of courage here? Oh. Release your ex. So he may have been really hard for the, this act, um, this masculine to let go of his ex here. Keep an open mind, and I feel like he's he was pretty closed off to something until something was illuminated to him. What's the solitude here? Separation, yeah, separating, going within, being on his own. Yeah, stillness, making the effort to, I feel like, connect with spirit here. What's the taking the risk? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Wanting to come in to speak a truth to that. Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel. Let go of controlling issues. And that's in reverse. So I feel like they're letting that go. They're not trying to control something here. Wonders. Yeah, I feel like this woman holding this coin, there's no passion for this king of swords. She doesn't even care, like, not even wondering about him. She's more worried about losing her money here and being held back. I feel like this is her karma for this masculine. The fulfillment hasn't come in for this masculine, but he awaits it or is rushing towards it with the adventure here. He's walking away from this Queen of Wands, I feel. What's the fulfillment in reverse? What's the fulfillment in reverse? Love yourself first. See? That self-love, that healing. And needed to release that X in order to have this happen. And I feel like with this Queen of Cups not paying any attention to this masculine, cutting ties or walking away, I feel like he feels this, that she's, she's leaving without him. And I feel like that's kicked him in the ass to do the work. <laughs> this is a past life relationship. So this is somebody 
maybe from the past life, could be this life, um, somebody that maybe you had a relationship a long time ago with. But this masculine is averting some type of storm here by ending this out with this person. He's able to relax um, and be at peace without this other person in his, in his world, in his life. Let's see, what's the green cards got to say? My little cards that I did up. So, what is this for St. Patrick's Day? I want to sweep you off your feet. A hopeless romantic. And that's on that Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, then it's... Um, use your lessons to help make changes for your family future and this is on that queen of wands okay then we have release your ex you can overcome any obstacle <laughs> right on okay keep an open mind somebody's not keeping an open mind about something here until something got illuminated you were seen as a screw up of the family but now you're on top and i feel like that could be to do with why this person has no self-esteem and maybe that needing to um, separate from this person that they had such a problem releasing. And it could be that person makes them feel like they can't do right. Separation. A blessing in disguise. A change for your highest good <laughs> is this separation from the ex. So make the effort. What is that here? A higher level of commitment so he needs to make an effort to maybe connect with spirit or to um, do the work in order to get to that higher level with uh, this Queen of Cups follow your heart and that's on that heart-to-heart -heart conversation here and then let go of control issues shocking and sudden but it is temporary you will bounce back so Letting go of that control issues, they 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 may not feel protected because this woman isn't this thinking woman isn't even thinking about them, and they're they feel like they're being delayed. So it could be this Queen of Cups is protecting this masculine, or did in the past. She could be calling her energy back, and this is where that cutting that tie that masculine may feel that. They could be telep there could be telepathy here. There's also could be that um, I'm feeling that twin flame kind of connection. What's the passion in reverse? Somebody may not have any passion when it comes to this masculine. They're not even wondering about him. She, yeah, she's the one that's she's made the decision about her money over wondering about this masculine there's no passion between these two uh, i'm not sure why they're to even together if there's nothing there assess your path and plant new seeds and i feel like that is for that feminine the uh queen of wands she needs to use the lessons that she's learning to change things for her future which means planting new seeds without this king of swords <laughs> love yourself first and it says I want to speak my truth to you and I feel like that is towards the queen of cups in reverse that he wants to speak some type of truth to on the bottom of the deck <laughs> cool he is walking away and I feel like remember I was saying that I felt like there's karma being with this queen of wands with this king of swords he's feeling that once he separates from her it says go buy that lotto ticket today maybe a good luck day <laughs> so I feel like he hits the jackpot now whether this is abundance in the lotto or whether it is abundance because he's going to get together with his queen of cups in reverse and um, change things uh, when it comes to the dynamic between the two where there is a lot of abundance between them um, but 
he's able to relax now. He may have been full of anxiety before. And until he walked away from this person he was meant to. I just want to see what the next card is underneath here. I am so in love with you. Love your soulmate. So this is a past life soulmate. Yeah, past life relationship from prior uh, lifetimes. You could have been with this person for many lifetimes if you were this queen of uh, cups and it, if you're the masculine you could be this king of swords and you're wanting to speak that truth right so you want to be fair and you want to um, be standing up and having that integrity right so wow that's beautiful and the king of swords is air sign so uh, that's Gemini Gemini, uh, Aquarius, and Libra. I was, it's like having a brain fart there. Um, yeah, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, yeah, that's the air signs um, for the King of Swords. And for the Queen of Cups, that actually is water sign. And that is to do with love and nurturing and that is um uh pisces cancer and scorpio wow i'm really having a struggling here <laughs> to try to remember who's who here and the wands is fire and that is sag leo and um <laughs> Sag, Leo, and, oh, Sag, Leo, and the fire sign, that's, um, Aries. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. I can't believe it. I just <laughs> really struggled with that. I don't know why. I was like, oh, my God, I can't can't think here um anyways that is what i have for you for the saint patrick's day reading so please like share and subscribe and become part of the divine oracle tribe so <laughs> if you'd like to donate to the channel there is a paypal in the bottom um in the um description box there's also super thanks and one of these days i will go live i've never been live i want to go live i'm still working on what i need to have for my computer so it's protected so i don't get hacked because i don't want that going on and that's mostly why i haven't gone live is because i i've heard of people losing all their stuff all their content and all yada 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 so I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we'll see you guys next time. Stay blessed. All right, later.